Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update video for December 2022. My name is Ona Christie, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing some Akashic guidance around the energies of December 2022, as well as some suggestions for how to navigate these energies. And I'll be doing a spirit animal reading to support us through the month of December 2022. Okay, so when I asked my Akashic guidance about the energies of December 2022, the guidance seemed more interested in the events of the new year, the energy of the coming year, and in giving me instructions for how to use the time remaining here in 2022 to prepare for 2023 and beyond. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you word for word the guidance that I received and then I'll just have a little bit of uh, some of my thoughts around that. And here's the response. They said, it is a time of ascension. It may not seem like it, but it is a time of ascension. And then they said, we are going to open back. And so I was like, what, what does that mean? I asked, what does that mean? And the answer was, there may be a relearning, a final integration of lessons learned over the past three years. After this year of 2022, we will be entering a new phase. There may be a repeat of similar patterns to events in 2020 after this coming new year. December 2022 is a good month to review the past three years, take note of lessons learned, release anything that needs releasing, and strengthen and purify in preparation for the next go-round. We are warriors. Okay, so that's all they gave me about December 2022. And as always, this is really just filtering through my own guidance. And I really encourage you to tune in for yourself for the energies of December 2022 and see what your guidance tells you. Um, and if it's something that feels like it's it would be helpful to others, do share that in the comments below. Um, Okay, so what I'm getting from this is, let's look at this last sen sentence first, I guess. They said, we are warriors. Okay, and what that's telling me, of course, is that, you know, we already know this, we're in this time where it's really important to be a spiritual warrior, but I'm feeling like even more so than what we've yet experienced. But notice the we, right? Um, we are warriors. And it was referring to both those on the other side, the veil, the spirit guides, and to us human beings, okay? So I think this is the first time I've heard my guides use this, this term we in a way that really felt to me like it, it, it encompasses both, right? Human beings and the spirit. So usually they used you to refer to living humans and we to refer to the spirit guides. And what this is telling me is that the veil is completely gone. Right? <laughs> Spirits are fully activated at this time and we have incredible access to them and we will continue to. Okay, they're ready to take take action right alongside us. So if we're if we're going into the thick of it just know that we've got that spirit team right here with us, okay? All we need to do is ask if we need any kind of guidance, any kind of protection. All we need to do is ask because it's right there, okay? Then also the idea of the, the repeat of similar patterns two, three years ago, okay? So Three years ago, we were at the end of 2019, looking forward to 2020. Um, I remember I was talking a lot about bifurcation and trifurcation. Um, I, I know a lot of spiritual teachers were talking about that at that time. What we're seeing right now is just like kind of that continued idea of bifurcation, right? So in terms of being a warrior, what a warrior does, it can be either offensive or defensive, right? But at this point, I'm feeling like it's it's really a point of defense, right? Of holding ground and staying uh, protective of what is of the light, right? So, so protecting your space, uh, protecting 
your rights, what you feel is true, um, you know, staying firm. These are all, all kind of protective warrior activities. And so the way I'm seeing it is that we're seeing the, you know, this, this collapse of the old order of the kind of the, the self-serving energies, right? Because really it's, it's, when we say light and dark, it's really a, a spiritual war going on right now between those that are of service to self and, and just very self-serving and those who are supporting that agenda, right? Even if they're not aware of it. Um, as and, and on the other side, those who are really in service to others, right? And through being in service to others, you're serving the source, right? That's the intention. So to be a warrior is to really kind of hold your ground and to recognize that, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm serving the, the highest good. And to have that intention, because sometimes the ego will make up its mind that a particular political party or a particular law, you know, and, and I'm not talking spiritual law, I'm talking human law, or a particular, you know, whatever it is, our ego will sometimes make up our mind that that's on the side of the light. Well, it may or may not be, right? And there may be things that are plans that the divine order has that we can't really see through so how does one be a warrior in 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 these really confusing <laughs> circumstances um to me it always comes down to vibration right that law of vibration and it's also comes down to each of us as individuals really tuning in to our own inner guidance and in terms of the decisions that we make what feels higher vibrational to us okay so going back to this idea of repeating patterns from three years ago i think it's i'm really being encouraged to emphasize that repeat of similar patterns does not mean that it has to result in similar outcomes okay so remember that we are creator beings we do have the ability to change our environment and to change our destiny okay this is the superpower of the human race this is what you know what our divine you know gift is as human beings is to be these incredible creator beings right and we create through the power of our will through our vision and our will okay so if if we can Think of life as a series of tests, right? Life will continue to test us until, you know, until we get it right, or really it tests us to ensure that we get it right, right? So any kind of these big collective challenges, it's a rite of passage for our species, okay? And it's, it, we're all taking part in that. And so, like I said, we do have the ability to change our destiny through the vision and through the will. So if you can just take just a couple suggestions here to take the month of December as this incredible opportunity, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got this beautiful time of darkness, right? And when we, we have that dark time of the year, it's an invitation to introspection. Think of it as like studying for the next test, the next exam that's going to come at us. We know, we have, I mean, I really feel like it's going to be in this coming year, probably coming three-year cycle. It's going to be another cycle of initiations. Okay, so if you can look back at the last three years, and here is a little opportunity right now here in December 2022 for some self-assessment, right? Because we... You know, we can only be responsible for our own choices. So in the aggregate of individual choices is what makes up the collective decisions, okay? So what we do and choose and choose to be and choose to become as individuals really does make a huge difference, right? And one thing to remember is that if you are able to bring yourself to higher vibration, your choices actually weigh more into the, the, the greater collective, right? Because you will have, 
you'll be able to anchor your energy, right? If you can really ground your energy and stay in that high vibe, it anchors it and it helps everybody else around you to raise their vibration too, okay? So with that in mind, as warriors, what we're really here to do is to keep our vibration high and stay grounded, okay? Those are the only two things that we have to really worry about. What that looks like is going to be different for everybody. Um, you know, your individual soul mission is going to be different, but what we all have in common is the more we can stay higher vibe and grounded at the same time that is going to assist everybody on the earth okay so looking back over the last three years if you could press the replay button how might you act differently to keep your vibe high and to stay more grounded okay looking back at those past three years what do you feel that you did really well you know, how, how, how did, how were you able to stay high vibe and stay grounded despite everything that was going on around you? Okay. What were your successes? I'd love for you, if you have successes that you had, techniques that you used, anything like that, do put those in the comments below. It will help other people. Other people will be viewing this video and I encourage everybody to read the comments. Okay. And so what were your successes that you can ride on and even work on to even expand those successful behaviors? And then also real self-assessment here. How might you act differently? Where would you give yourself those little failing marks that, you know, by failing, I mean, that's just an indication of, okay, this is where I need to learn a little bit more. This is where I have learned from these past three years. If I didn't feel like it worked out very well in these last year, a few years, how am I going to do it differently this coming cycle? The more we can really prepare ourselves and stay strong and be strong in body, right? Be strong in our minds and be strong in our hearts, especially the more we can stay in our hearts, the more it's going to be a, a smoother, easier transition, right? Okay, so finally, let's uh, do a little spirit animal reading to support us for this, this, uh, this month of December. 2022. I'm using my Spirit Animal Awareness card deck. I'll put the link to that in the description in case you'd like to pick up a copy. I think I'll probably put that on sale sometime soon. Um, first one is Otter, <laughs> which is really cool because um, I was just really meditating on Otter yesterday. This is a whole different deck that I'm using, and here it is coming up again. And Spirit of Play is what I always get from, from, from Otter. And so just two meanings of the word play. One is, you know, I am actually playing a role. And how can I be the best role model, <laughs> right? Um, going out into the world from here, this point forward. And then the other idea of play is in, you know, Otter says, why, why walk when you can slide on your belly? It's so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, why, why just stand there when you can dance, right? Um, dancing through life and, and finding the joy in, in being alive. There is a lot of joy to be had. And I'm just giving thanks to Otter for reminding us of that. Um, and feeling like at least probably one more card here for December. And this is Turtle. Um, I love Turtle. And I believe... I was just listening to a Native American fellow. Um, I think he was saying it was truth, right? The spirit of truth. Um, and it's also a very, very protective uh, totem here you know, with, the, with the shell. And so it's easy to kind of withdraw into our shell. Maybe we need to do that a little bit this month. Withdraw with inside, right? And find the truth, find our, our grounding within. Dur Turtle is also a very grounding animal. And... Um, but if you come back to that idea of truth, people think that truth is relative. It's really not, right? You can act true to yourself or you can act not true to yourself, right? And a lot of times we are encouraged to act in ways that are not true to our hearts. And we can feel that little sense of um, just not feeling right, right? When we're, when we're 
going about our business in a way that's not true to ourselves, right? So Turtle asks us to really look within and, and you know, in the absence of all the voices out there that are shouting and screaming and trying to get us emotionally triggered, <laughs> right? Turtle can move through the waters of the emotions and be very, very self-contained, right? So maybe spend a little time with Turtle if it calls to you this month and breathe <laughs> and come back to ground and really, you know, maybe write down what are my actual values, what is important to me, and what am I going to devote myself to in order to when I, you know, come out of this dark period of the year, how am I actually going to move forward and stand up for my own truth and the truth of nature as well. All right. So again, um, if you have any comments or epiphanies that you've received uh, through this video, um, definitely please, please, please share. It does help other people. The other thing that helps is if you have found this video helpful, to like the video because that will trigger the algorithm to show up to more people. And also, if you found it helpful, do share it with your friends and talk to people about this stuff. <laughs> talk to people about it. It's important that we think through what, what are the valuable things in life, right? Because these times of challenge are here to help us to come back to the very vital truths that sometimes we forget when things are going really well for us, right? So enjoy this month of December 2022, and remember you were born to be free.